Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for round two. Take a seat. Get ready for the round. Um, I was 
asked if I could do some dark stuff tonight. Should we go a little bit darker? Because as we're doing a roast and there's a bit of a free fucking vibe, should we go yeah. a little bit darker? Yeah, uh, so yeah, I met this really nice girl behind uh, Tesco's the other day. She was homeless. And uh, I felt sorry for her, but being the kind of eco hippie guy that I am, I was, you know, she was rough around the edges. I took her home, got her in the bath, and, you know, as things lead back to another, it was turned a bit steamy, a bit passionate, and uh, we ended up having wild, rampant sex. Yeah, and I was shagging her really hard, and with the noises she was making, you would have thought she was still alive. <laughs> you want us to go harder? Don't at all, you want us to go harder? I used to tell dad jokes a lot, but he's dead now, so I can't do that anymore. <laughs> um, I've got ADHD, recently uh, been diagnosed as having adult ADHD, which is uh, it's kind of like the new vegan being neurodivergent, isn't it? Everyone's fucking neurodivergent nowadays, but people call it neurospicy. I'm not fucking top of knick-knack, do you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's just sound like a bag of crystal. I've some uh, it's large man size neurospicy, please. Um, but yeah, kind of being like the new vegan. My wife is genuinely vegan, and I uh, found out something the other day about vegans I didn't know, but if you cut a vegan's head off, for at least 10 minutes, they'll still tell you they're fucking vegan. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, having ADHD, I, I lie in bed and think at night, and you try and write comedy, and I always have my inspiration at night time. And you, I was just lying there thinking, the Transformers, technically the people who perform, sur perform surgery on the, the transgenders, the, the Transformers. But again, two of my favourite games <coughs> as a kid were Guess Who and Operation. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they were made by a company called Hasbro, but they should probably rename it to Wasbro. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so with the guess who, it'd be just like, we're in a bit of a minefield at times. It'd be like, do they have glasses? Yeah. Do they have a beard? Yeah. Is it Lucy? Um, <laughs> yeah, going back to the cat, it's, um, I can't generally did die. <laughs> We're going to fire one off over in that direction. Um, yeah, it was, uh, the cat did die. Just uh, ge general, it wasn't my fault. It genuinely wasn't my fault. The duct tape was a success. Um, but yeah, I, I'm kind of an eco hippie kind of guy. I just wanted to make sure that I could reuse and repurpose as much as I possibly can. So yeah, I ended up turning her into a novelty golf club cover, which was quite sweet. And uh, yeah, first round I ever played was for a uh, charity game for people with... Uh, Premature ejaculation, and I won. I came what first, what, just, just by two strokes. <laughs> um, oh, we have got a few minutes left. Let's punch on through that. Oh, my wife <laughs> called me a sex machine the other day. Uh, well, she actually called me a fucking tool, but I know what she meant. I <laughs> really knew what she meant there. Yeah. Um, but since having a, a, a one child, I have a boy who's eight. He's fucking awesome. And uh, we decided to just call it a day, really, with that, because you can't be better than the best and just get one kid. There's fucking plenty, there's enough people on the planet already. So I went for the old uh, snip. Nice and personal, don't laugh. Yeah, rude dying down then. <laughs> so I went for a snip for uh, actually had a sex me during uh, COVID times. Um, but it was a bit of an awkward one because everyone had to wear masks. So I've gone in and walked into the, it was out in Ford and Bridge, and it was really awkward. And, the only way I can explain it, I don't know if there's anyone in the room who's had one or is thinking about having, having one, don't let me put you off by this little story. Ish. Um, yeah, basically I walked in to the uh, receptions, checked in, came out, basically sort of sat in the waiting room, wearing a mask, eyes like a fucking ninja, just like, Jesus fucking, I don't know, it's going to happen. It's going to be scary. Went in, and there's two ways of doing it. You can either have a quick burn, smells like bacon, apparently, if you like bacon, not vegans. And then uh, you, know, you can have your tubes tied, so I went and had my tubes tied. So, as they were pulling the tubes out of me, which was kind of, this is kind of, it, yeah, we use this. It was like this. It was like some fucking clown pulling fucking cloths out of his sleeve. Like, um, on, I thought the bloke was tying his shoelaces halfway through. But he's pulling it out, and as I looked down at the wrong time, and he's pulled it out, and it was like, like you test spaghetti when you take it out of the saucepan just to see if it's right. 
it, and they cut through the tubes, and I wasn't numb at all in any way, shape, or form. I screamed my fucking head off. Finally got through the operation, got through the procedure, and I walked out by this, legs of Kimbray, and I jumped away. And there's a dude sat in the waiting room wearing a mask, and his eyes are all as wide as pies. And I looked at him, and this is the only thing that I regret about this whole genuine situation is I didn't get to, I, I walked, I didn't get to see the result after what I'd said to this chap. But I'm walking out like this, and he's like, you're right? And I went, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd get the nurse to stick her fingers up your ass if I were you. He's got fingers like a gorilla. <laughs> but yeah, genuinely didn't get to see that one play through. That was a bit of a shame. Um, so, yeah, I think that'll probably do for me tonight. My name is AJ Man. Please enjoy the rest of your night. So, also, let's come up. Thank you very much for your night.